What's going on everyone? So today I wanted to do a quick walkthrough of Weeble's new active order entry. This is the widget on the right hand side that we are looking at. And I want to show you guys how this works. So when you are on a layout, and if you don't know how to build a customized layout, this is one of, you know, a bunch of customized layouts that I have personally built out on my Weeble account. But if you don't know how to build one, we've actually got some videos here on the channel uh, under the Weeble tutorials, or if you just type into our channel search bar, you know, customize layout Weeble, you'll find out how to do this. So if you go up to the right hand side, I know it's slightly cut off, I believe, but there will be a little a a widget toolbox up in the right. Or what I could do inside of this widget that I am in, let's say I was in like the, the price ladder widget right here. If I go to the right, those little three dots and three lines, click on that, and then there will be a section that says add widget. So I go to all widgets, get the same exact way. It'll open this guy up, go to trade. Under trade, there's order entry, classic trade, act here's active order entry. So this is the widget that you're gonna then open up. And so what does active order entry actually show you? Well, it actually has essentially like level two end time and sales built into one. I can adjust you know, what I wanna see and how much I wanna see. So essentially level two right here, time and sales on the right hand side. We've got volume, high of the day, this is looking at spy, limit orders and all that stuff. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is, I've got one pulled up on the right hand side. So I'm gonna get rid of this guy right here. The tab, I'm actually gonna remove that one. And we're gonna focus on this guy right here. Here it is. I have it hooked up as group two, meaning that it is going to be tied to whatever is on this chart, which I currently have an Amazon option contract right here, these 93 puts. And I'm looking at this as a potential breakdown trade below this 30 minute low on Amazon today, which is around this area, this 93.45 or so area. If I got in now, I would be front running it, but I'm gonna do it as an example to show you guys how this works. Let's say I wanted to enter into these puts right now. I got the option contract, or it could be a stock, doesn't really matter. I'm just using an option contract today in this example. The chart on the right is the chart of how these option contracts have traded over the past uh, you know, day or so. It's a five minute chart, you know, stemming back to Last week, it's today's a Monday. So right hand side, we have you know our level two pulled up um, and we essentially have the bid running down the left and the ask and the exchange as to where they are located on. Then the, um, we have the time and sales. So it shows me the last person to go through, you know, had one of these puts go through at 125, roughly speaking. Uh, and that's just generally what it's showing me there. So let's say I wanna go in, I wanna do a market buy and I wanna buy like five contracts. Go ahead and do that. It can't do it because of the options market volatility, but if it was a stock, you would have no problem. So say I wanna buy five contracts and now the spreads are up here or the um, the bid ask is at 133. I'm gonna go 132 and see if I can get in. So now I'm in. Okay, so I got five contracts at a 132 um, average cost basis. And so here the bid and the ask are going right there. Now, if I wanna get out, I can use a market order to get out of this thing and just click on market sell. Click on sell and you'll be out, like just like that, no worries. So in this case, I'm gonna let this thing kind of play out and I'm gonna stop out if we get back up over this like 93.75 area. So I'm gonna kind of let it do its thing. But for the sake of this video, let me show you how it works. So I'll go and do a market sell of one contract here. So if I wanna sell one contract on this position, I'm gonna go ahead, click on market, make sure the quantity is set to one and go sell. Boom, it just sold it. Uh, and it would probably get sold, let me just see. I got sold at, uh, filled at 127, so on the bid. Essentially, I got I sold on the bid of that contract, okay? So now you can kind of see how it works, and it's fairly straightforward. And if you guys know market buys, market sells, this is not you know anything super complicated or complex. It's just kind of a, a new feature that you can utilize here on Webull that you now you have an opportunity to, want to, to trade off of. So same thing will go on, on the limit, limit buys, limit sells. You can use stop orders. You can also use stop limit orders have your limit price entered in here and stop price here. If you're curious on how, what order type meet, what all those orders, you know, what that stuff means, we've got videos already here on the channel explaining a lot of that good stuff. So that's how it works. That is how to use the new active order entry feature. Uh, I think it could be a cool addition. It might not matter to you if you like to use other stuff, but if it kind of fits your style, great. This could be a cool feature, a cool widget that you can add to your own trading layouts and start using it right now. Again, other links, resources, playlists here on the channel already. So we've got tons of stuff for you. Any other links and great stuff will be linked up down below in the description box of this video. Hope to see you guys in a future video. Thumbs up button. Consider subscribing. Have a great rest of your day.